The recent wave of pest infestations at various food establishments on island, it's becoming clearer that there may be an underlying issue that needs to be addressed. So we sat down with Public Health's Environmental Health Division to find out what's going on. Roaches inside food stalls at the Micronesia Mall, the Guam Premier Outlet, inside Verona Resort and Spa, and now Dedido Mall, as well as maggots and food from a local restaurant. These are just some of the recent complaints the Department of Public Health has received in the past year alone, some of which remain unresolved to this day. So what could be causing what seems like an increase in pest infestation at our local establishments? I think it's public awareness and their willingness to report their concerns or something they observe to public health. And, and, I, and I think it's a good thing. Um, as I've always mentioned, the public, they can be our eyes and ears for us, especially when it comes to concerns or problems they observe. While social media may play a role in the awareness behind these reports of roach, rat, maggot and mold infestations, another factor is in resources. Tom Nadeau, administrator for the Division of Environmental Health, says they've noticed a pattern in establishments that don't get regular or routine inspections. That's because their focus has been on establishments that cater to high-risk populations. So we inspect those facilities that cater primarily to the, the high-risk populations, such as the elderly, the young, the immunocompromised. Mm -hmm. So we inspect those facilities frequently. Unfortunately, those that tend to get not as, as, as much attention mm -hmm. as uh, we would like to provide, they tend to maybe get more complacent, mm -hmm. um, which unfortunately result maybe uh, accumulation of various violations. Nonetheless, Nadeau says more needs to be done to prevent the spread of foodborne illnesses. With health certification training now under public health's purview, the agency will be making some revisions to their courses. In the meantime, public health is working as diligently as possible in inspecting as many facilities as they could. But with staffing so thin at just five inspectors, it's an impossible task. So with approximately 3,000 establishments that are permitted, that equals to around 12,000 inspections a year. And the reality is we're not able to fulfill that requirement. Mm -hmm. um, we average approximately 1,000 inspections a year. What would be the ideal uh, number of inspectors <laughs> <Ideal number. laughs> to, to be able to do the 12,000 a year? Sure. Uh, well, we need definitely over 20 inspectors. Nado adds they receive between 150 to 250 complaints a year, but not all of those complaints relate to food establishments.